Let's break down what a 16-bit program is, especially in the context of Intel microprocessors like the 8088 and 80286 and how these programs were used in DOS and early Windows applications. A 16-bit program is a type of software that runs on computers with processors that can handle 16 bits of data at a time. Think of bits like tiny switches that can be either on, one, or off, zero. A 16-bit program is software that runs on processors with 16-bit internal registers. This means the processor can handle data in chunks of 16 bits at a time. The Intel 8088 and 80286 are examples of processors that support 16-bit operations. The 8088 has an 8-bit external data bus but maintains 16-bit internal registers, while the 80286 has a 16-bit data bus and a 24-bit address bus. 8088 processors can address up to 1 megabyte of memory due to its 20-bit address bus. 80286 processors can address up to 16 megabytes of memory with its 24-bit address bus but often limited by available RAM and software support. To access more than 64 kilobytes of memory, 16-bit programs use segmentation. This involves dividing memory into segments, like code, data, and stack, and using segment registers to manage them. Early 16-bit systems like MS-DOS used cooperative multitasking, where programs voluntarily yield control to others. This could lead to instability if one program failed to yield. Here are some examples of 16-bit programs. Most DOS applications were 16-bit, running directly on the processor without an operating system's memory protection or multitasking features. Many early Windows applications, especially those for Windows 3 series, were also 16-bit. They relied on the Windows on Windows, wow, layer to run under later versions of Windows. Modern 64-bit Windows versions do not natively support 16-bit applications. However, tools like NTVDM, NT Virtual DOS Machine, or emulators like DOSBox can be used to run these programs. In summary, 16-bit programs were designed to run on processors like the 8088 and 80286, using segmentation to manage memory and cooperative multitasking. They were prevalent in DOS and early Windows environments but are now mostly run through emulation or compatibility layers.